Hey guys, it's Ramon from Eclectic Emissary and we are here in Paris, France. First time. So I'm super excited. This starts the beginning of our France travel vlog series and we're going to be going to so many different cities and we're going to give you all the essential tips you need for preparing the ultimate trip to France. And there's going to be tons of things you're going to need, so lots to do. And we're going to prepare with everything there is to do in the city, so stay tuned because it's going to be awesome. Alright, now to go over some guidelines for entering France. Of course, they have released some of the rules, you know, it's not as strict anymore, so the restrictions are definitely a lot more manageable. So, if you're vaccinated, you do not need any kind of COVID test to come in. Pretty much, just, yeah, walk in. If you're unvaccinated, of course, you still need to take a, you know, PCR test 72 hours before. But, rules for like being uh, vaccinated, like fully vaccinated, you have to have the booster if it's been within nine months of your initial shot. So that kind of sucks. So if you need to get that, make sure you get it before your flight over here. All right, so if you guys are going to try to take the subway around Paris, it's pretty easy, pretty efficient. You can figure it out. Uh, not too expensive either. All you do is have to buy these little tickets pretty much at any machine. Uh, around and they'll buy you one ride for a dollar ninety euro So just keep in mind that every time you use it you're gonna have to do another ticket So I think you can buy a couple day passes or something like that. So yeah, there's tons of options Just check it out when you get here Oh, Also, if you want to purchase this to use for the bus buy the T plus card So you'll actually be able to use that well, as well as for the buses and subways Another thing to keep in mind is that even though rules are way more relaxed about masks everywhere around Paris, you're going to need it only on public transportation. So if you're taking buses, trains, uh, planes, anything like that, make sure to bring your mask still. So if you guys are coming to Paris, it is like Cafe Central, man. Every single corner has like a little cafe outside. People are just so obsessed with cafes, pretty much just sitting out here and drinking coffee or eating like a small meal. So it's pretty awesome, man. You definitely gotta make sure you try these coffee chops, man. They're so cool. Okay. So it's about like 9.30 and like almost every store is closed. It's so crazy. Also could be, cause it's a Monday. I think a lot of things are closed on Monday. So uh, depending on when you're here, you wanna plan your travels accordingly because some things might be closed. All right, so. Around France, it seems like it's always a mission to try and find like a bathroom that's actually usable for public situations. So that is very annoying. Whenever you find a, a bathroom, like usually you gotta have some money on you. It costs about a euro to get in, so just keep that in mind. Better keep some cash or some coins with you because uh, you gotta pay for it and they're not really accessible too much. So good luck finding one. All right. Another stereotype that might be true about friends is that trains, buses, everything always getting delayed. I don't know if there's like a protest again or what's going on, but our train is delayed. So always put in some extra time uh, because things might not leave according to schedule. All right, so now I'll go over some things you can expect from dining in restaurants in France, of course. So first thing, there's like cafes everywhere, of course and it's pretty customary to just you know french people just kind of get a, a drink a coffee something small whatever and they just sit for like two or three or four hours just talking and hanging out and relaxing so it's very slow pace and relaxed um another thing restaurants have just weird hours like just like for instance that last restaurant we were at it opens at 11 a.m closes at 2 30 p.m opens back again at 5 p.m. and then closes at like 10 p.m. So it's just so weird, especially how everything opens so much later in France. It's just, it's crazy, man. Like, I can't believe it. So yeah, make sure if you want to eat something in between the hours of like two to five, you're probably gonna have to find like a bakery or some snacks or something. 
Another thing, no tipping. So you don't have to tip your waiter. Um, so I guess everything's pretty included. Actually, I found like prices are super reasonable for all the food. So the most expensive thing was like 60 euros or something like that. So uh, pretty good unless you're eating like at a Michelin star dinner or something like that. Um, the other last thing is that you're going to want to have to work on your French. Um, usually they speak French, you know, even if you try to speak broken French and they realize that you can, they'll still try to speak in French to you, but sometimes they'll speak in English. I just feel like knowing some French will definitely help you on this trip. So yeah, those are some key tips for dining in at restaurants. All right, so to fly back to the United States, of course, so strict, you have to get another COVID test. So basically you can go to any pharmacy with a little green here and just go in, ask for a COVID test and they'll give you the antigen test, which is good for traveling on planes and it costs about 16 euros. So we went back in this like little alleyway and they had a little test set up there. So we took it and emails, um, the results are gonna be emailed to us in like 15, 20 minutes. So just make sure you provide the right email address and phone number. And uh, yeah, you're good to go with that alone. All right, so another entry requirement you will need before departing on your flight to France and also the flight back to the United States or wherever you're going is the digital passenger locator form. So this is just basically saying where you're coming from and what kind of mode of transportation you're gonna be taking. So I will have a link to that in the description below. Basically, you fill it out online and just have the QR code. And once you're boarding, you'll be able to scan that easily. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed our travel guide for visiting France. Of course, you gotta note that the entry requirements are constantly being updated. So you'll want to check the official sites to make sure. But as of now, at least for the last month or so, these are the rules that are in place that you need to enter the country. And it's definitely been a lot more relaxed. I feel like there's a lot more people traveling now and all the rules regarding the Rona are a lot easier to deal with. So there's not as much to go through and it's a lot easier to travel. So that's definitely a plus. So if you guys enjoyed the content, make sure to like and subscribe because it supports the channel and we're gonna be making tons more videos going to the best cities in France. Of course, Paris, Lyon, Marseille, Nice. So there's tons more content coming. So hope you guys stay tuned. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.